You are likely here because you have seen an electric unicycle and want to know more. In this video, I want to cover the top 10 most common questions we get when we are out riding. Riding electric unicycle is uh, super fun and engaging when you're riding with friends. Are you considering replacing your fossil transportation with a green alternative for city commuting? Let me know in the comment section below. Before we uh, head to the top 10, I want to uh, remind you that we are uploading drone and e-wheel related material weekly to help you get the best out of your equipment. So if you're new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification next to it so you don't miss out on new stuff. The first question is, what are these? It's a pretty simple construction. It's basically a center motor, some control electronics, a huge battery and some plastic parts that keep everything together. With the common denominator of one wheel, they come in different uh, sizes. From the rare 10 inch model up to the big 26 inch wheels. Some of the models will even allow to sit on them while you ride. Most riders use wheel sizes of 14, 16 and 18 inch. Question number two, how do they work? The electric unicycle is based on gyro stabilization. This means that the wheel will always try to keep up when you shift your weight. So if you shift your weight to the front of the wheel, it will try to move forward. And if you shift it towards the back, it will drive backwards. When the weight shifts, the wheel will try to hold the balance. You accelerate the wheel by leaning forward. The electronic on the control board will keep the actual balance, but the balance or sight you need to control by yourself, like when riding a bicycle. Question number three, what is the range? The range can be from 10 to well over 60 miles. The average model is around 18 to 25 miles on a single charge. The actual uh, mileage that you get out of a battery depends on a lot of factors like uh, temperature, riding style and the weight of the rider. If you ride aggressively around the top speed in cold weather conditions, the range can easily be reduced with 30 to 40 percent. Question number four, how fast will it go? Top speed ranges from 12 to 30 miles per hour with some models even capable of going higher. Every unicycle has a maximum specified speed. It's not recommended to approach this top speed as this can cause the motor to cut out and the consequences can be fatal and cause massive injuries. Safe riding speed depends on battery level, temperature and rider weight. Some manufacturers have introduced uh, limitations uh, to the speed when the battery level get below 50% to protect the rider. Me personally, I never ride faster than 20 miles per hour, even if my wheel is capable of doing 30. And I always wear full protection. Question number five, is it difficult to learn? Like any new thing, there's a learning curve. Remember back when you had to learn to ride a bicycle, it also took some time for you to get used to. Most people will be able to learn this within a couple of days with some dedicated training. It almost feels impossible in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's hard to remember how difficult it was to learn. Once you get better, you can expand your skills with trick riding. Question number six, how much do they cost? For a quality model, you have to spend around $500 to $1,500 depending on your need for speed and range. Leading quality brands are Kingsung, Inmotion, Godway and Ninebot and I will make sure to leave a link in the, the comment section below for these brands. It's not recommended to buy two $300 no name cheap wheels because they are insufficient in motor and battery power as the motor power is limited to 350 watt and the battery is only 120 watt hour. Question number seven, how much weight can they carry? Most electric unicycles are specified to 200 pounds, but in reality they should not be. When you start to push the wheel, the motor cannot deliver enough power to keep the wheel in balance and the motor will likely cut out. We recommend never to go with less power than 800 watt and a battery pack of 680 watt hour. Question number eight, are they legal? This is a critical question for most and it varies from country to country. Unfortunately, the law is not 100% clear in most countries. Only a few places allow them, where Singapore is the one that has the most liberal rules. Make sure to always check up on the local uh, rules in your country. Question number nine, how long does it take to charge? With a small battery pack of 680 watt hours, it takes around five to six hours for fully charged. You can buy superchargers that will help you reduce uh, the charging time with up to 50%. Question number 10, where can I learn more? There's a few good resources on the web for electric unicycles. 
There's a forum for hardcore and newbie writers where you can get most of your questions answered. There's also a few uh, dedicated groups on Facebook that is worth checking out. I will make sure to leave links in the description below. Make sure to check our drones and electric unicycle channel for additional information. Hope you enjoyed this Q&A for electric unicycles. And if you have questions not answered, throw them in the comment section below and I will uh, try to answer them right away. If you don't have any questions, just hit the like button below and tell us we are the greatest channel in the universe and uh, we will get a million subscribers uh, within uh, two weeks from now.